there everyone it's Nina thanks so much for joining me today for a new video and I have a very fun birthday card to share with you today mama elephant has recently come out with a new die set called matchbox builder this adorable die creates literally a matchbox that you can decorate into a really fun and unique card I'm going to be using it today along with the Hooray Wishes stamp and die set to create a very celebratory and colorful birthday card. So I have the Matchbox Builder and the Hooray Wishes stamp set and dies on my desk here and I'm going to show you which dies we're going to work with first from the Matchbox Builder. We have this very long rectangular piece and then this odd shaped rectangular piece. Both of these are the pieces that you're going to cut to build your Matchbox. Everything else included in the die set is more decorative for your matchbox builder. So I'm going to die cut both of these pieces from some Vicki Booten color story paper. Now I have the 12 by 12 pack, but you could definitely make these with the 6 by 8 pack. When you've die cut these shapes, these have score lines on them and you're going to want to go ahead and pre-fold them so that way when we go to assemble, assembling is a lot easier. So I've gone ahead and folded over the matchbox sleeve and now I'm going to build the box itself. That's what this funky little rectangular piece is. It cuts all of the little tabs that you need to fold this into the shape of a box. So we're going to go ahead and fold over on all of those pre-made score lines to give them a really nice good crease. Once we've folded all of them over, then we can add adhesive to build this and turn this into the box that it's going to be. These little tabby flaps, those fold in on the sides and that's what's going to hold your box together because those are what we're going to add some adhesive to. I have some tape runner here. Any adhesive that you have would work for this, whether it's liquid glue or dot runner. You just want to add a little adhesive to each of those little side flaps first. Those little tabbies will then go ahead and attach to the side of your box as you fold it up and over. This is a very simple process. The assembly of this box is so easy. You're going to make a ton of these and have a lot of fun doing it. This was starting to get addicting. After I've attached all those little tabs, now we can fold the sides in. And you will want to add some adhesive to those sides. Not so much a key assembly point that actually holds the box together. It more just decorates the sides. So to fold those over, we'll just add a little adhesive on them and then slide them onto the side of the box. Very simple and easy to do. You'll do that on all four sides. So at this point, our matchbox is complete and now we need to assemble the sleeve. The sleeve is even easier. All you need to do is add a little adhesive to this little end tab on the side of your box and that folds to the front part of the sleeve. So this will hold the entire sleeve together and it allows you to then slip the matchbox right inside of this sleeve. So it really literally looks like a true matchbox. It's so adorable and I've wanted to make one of these for a long time. I've seen them on Pinterest and stuff and always so cool. But this die makes it so easy to make them because it does all the cut work for you. All you have to do is glue it together and that makes it super simple and fun. But now it's time to decorate it, make it even more special. So the first thing I'm doing is pulling out some Simon Says Stamp Gold Glitter cardstock, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this from the Hooray die that's in the Hooray Wishes stamp and die set. So this cute little greeting is going to go on the front of my matchbox. And then on the inside, we're going to have these cute little kids from the Hooray Wishes stamp set. And these are going to get stamped, colored, and cut so that I can assemble them onto the inside of the box. And this will be a pop-up element. It's really fun. Now to color these little kids, I did leave them uh, very simple because they're very small as you can see. So I didn't want to get too detailed and make coloring even harder on myself. If you want to, you can use Copic markers like I did or you could color them in with colored pencils, watercolors, whatever medium you prefer. They're really cute kids. I really thought this was a fun image and I used colors in the pattern paper that I'm using today, which is the Color Story Vicki Booten Pattern Paper Pack and I used that as my guide to color in these kits. So that's why I chose the colors that I did for their clothing. I used the coordinating die to cut the kids out and I will then run this through my die cut machine along with this little rounded tab that's included in the Matchbox Builder die set. This little tab folds over and it allows you to glue something like this image of the kids onto it and it'll pop up inside of your Matchbox. Now when you adhere this together, you're going to want to go ahead and add some adhesive to the front of that tab and also the flap that attaches to the box itself. So we'll fold this over and attach it to the kids. And then once we have them attached, we can lay this inside of our matchbox. 
Now the key with this is that you do want to make sure that the kids can lay down completely inside of the box before you adhere this permanently to your matchbox. This is so that way when you close this matchbox into the sleeve, the kids will be able to lay down and not impede how this fits inside of the matchbox sleeve. So really cute and you can see how when you open this up they kind of pop up and it's really fun. I thought they were adorable and would make a fun birthday card. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick a sentiment from the Hooray Wishes stamp set inside of my matchbox here, which I stamped and embossed onto black cardstock. The white embossing really offsets nicely and the black was chosen because there are some black accents on my pattern paper. If you were using different pattern paper or you were using cardstock, you could totally change up the colors that I'm using today to fit the project that you'd like. So our matchbox interior is complete, but now we need to decorate the outside. So I have my hooray that I had die cut earlier from gold glitter cardstock, and I'm stacking it on top of two additional white cardstock die cuts. This is so that way when I glue it down onto my matchbox sleeve, this will have a little bit of dimension off of the box itself. So I'll use some liquid glue to adhere that down, and then I will take something heavy, in this case my phone, and just lay this on top for a brief minute so that way I can go ahead and make sure it's pressed down really, really well. Now this matchbox card is really unique and we need a place to be able to write a message to the recipient. So I'm taking one of the decorative frames that are included in the matchbox builder die and I'm using this to create a space that I can write a sentiment to the person that I'm going to give this card to. So after I filled in the card, then I can go ahead and adhere this to the back side of my matchbox builder. I'll just use some regular dot runner to go ahead and adhere this down. So when the recipient gets this matchbox card, you can see that they can flip it over and read the beautiful personal message that you wrote to them for their birthday or whatever type of occasion you're giving this card to them for. And then they have the awesome dimensional interior that pops open as you pull the matchbox out of its sleeve. This is a super cute card and so easy to build because of this adorable matchbox builder die set from Mama Elephant. I love how this card turned out and I hope you enjoyed seeing it get created. I hope you will also try this out because this is a really fun die that like I said you can use for so many different types of cards whether it's birthday, maybe graduation coming up, Mother's Day, or any other time of year. I hope you will try this matchbox die out and that you were inspired by today's project. All the supplies that I used today are listed in the video description below. So if you did want to get this matchbox builder or any of the other items that I used today in my project, you can find them all there. Links to our blog are also in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. And I thank you so much for stopping by and visiting today. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for additional inspiration and I will be back very soon with more to share. Until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.